Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. The roads are beginning to clear from the snow that fell over the last few days. Mount Bachelor, I believe that the lens is fogged up there. We have not seen out that road for quite a while. The rest of them have calmed down. The rest of the cameras, I should say, and Sandy on Pass is the last one that we can see actually some snow still on the road. The rest have cleared up and should be drying up tomorrow. Here's just the small amount of activity that is left in the state, and you can see it clearing up even now we all should be clear and free of any precipitation as we're watching this trough of low pressure continue to recede back into Canada we're going to be under more high pressure clear skies not quite warming up but definitely being around average and now I am focusing my attention on the low pressure system you can see here the purple and the blue that trough has formed slightly there that is moving toward the Pacific Northwest it's just going to depend on how things play out for the next couple of days because we do have a chance for some rain next week. Right now it's only at about a 20%. With our future track boring tonight, we've just had some very active future tracks where we've seen the purples and pinks and greens and blues and even yellows from the heavy rain. And you can see tonight into tomorrow, maybe some activity if you look up in that very top corner there in the valley. But for Central Oregon and the Cascades, things are calming down and we're having some pretty typical fall days through Saturday. Things will begin to change again. We'll see some clouds on Sunday. Temperatures will fluctuate just a bit, but not too much. We're not going way warmer or way colder except for tonight. So here's where we are with our temperatures right now. We did have another warm day today. We warmed up to average just a few degrees above. Tonight is going to be cool or chilly, depending on where you are. Those teens, maybe even close to the single digits in some of the higher elevations in Lapine, to the low 20s through uh, Prineville and Sisters, and then the high mid to higher 20s in Warm Springs. That's a cold night for us. We're usually warmer than that. Then tomorrow, we see our temperatures just right at average. Very similar today, maybe a degree or two warmer. And these are the daytime temperatures we actually carry with us for the next few days. And you'll see on our future uh, forecast model here on the seven day forecast, I should say, the clouds that come back in on Sunday, we stay in those mid to high 40s until then. Then on Monday with that 20% chance of rain, we may cool down a couple of degrees, pop back up on Tuesday and then Tuesday night into Wednesday with that next chance of rain, we cool off again, begin to warm back up and have partly sunny skies on Thanksgiving.